Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to uh, quickly model, uh, probably not exactly like this, but a more uh, a massing exercise. So something like this. Okay, something like this. So let's start. So first we're going to draw this line. Okay, so let's go to uh, Rabbit and Let's start. Okay, so um, I'm just going to. I mean, I'll just leave them there. So I'll just do. You can do detail line, and we are going to use spline. You can use arc, but it's quite hard. So I'll show you. So it's it's a, it's quite hard to create because you need you need to you need to create this arc and try to. Um, uh, adjust them individually so it's very uh, time consuming so now what I'm going to do is I'll use spline okay so so let's start so just roughly place all these points and you can come back and adjust them okay so let's stop here so you can still select this spline and you can adjust all these dot points okay so and then okay so that maybe that, that's it so this is our shape but the limitation of the spline is although you can create so for example you can create a roof from pick this line to create a roof like this let me just uh, uncheck the define slope so if I click finish so yes it's, it's a roof right but if you try to create a wall you pick the edge of roof so you will find you, we can't do that okay and also if I go back to floor plan uh, so if I try to create a wall uh, so you'll, you'll see um, you can't place wall on this spline. So what we need to do is we need to convert this spline into arcs. Okay, we need to use AutoCAD. Okay, so what we're going to do is in this view um, go export SCAD format DWG. And then so let's click on next and then just save it somewhere um, on, on your computer and I'll just click on OK uh, yes I will just overwrite so now go to AutoCAD and open go to I think this is the one we just did so so open this and now you will see this is still a spline what we need to do is use the flatten okay select this spline and a, a space space and that's it so now you'll see it becomes a, a polyline which uh, all each, uh, each you will see this from this point to another point they are arc okay so now we can save this file and go back to Revit so we, let's just hide it so EH to go insert link CAD find this DWG file and click on OK so now you will see um, this linked file is being located uh, in the same location of the previous um, spline okay so now we can create so let's create a roof so um, you can create a roof no problems you can pick all these uh, arcs and then let's just create I'll, I'll just uncheck the define slope okay and then okay so now I'm going to define slope on this edge maybe uh, let's make it 10 degrees for example finish it let's go to 3d view so now you will see this is the roof we just uh, did use uh, sorry which one 
uh, this one, this this is a Splunk one. Let's just delete it. So this is the new one. Okay. So now we can. So if you uh, create a wall, so for example, I'll create a maybe just generic wall. Let's use a 100 generic wall. You will find uh, you can you can now pick the edge of the wall, and also you can pick the spline. Oh, sorry this uh, linked DWG file so tab click and you can create all these four so um, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to select all these four and maybe make them uh, higher so maybe let's make them 20 meters high uh, maybe a little bit higher uh, 30 okay so now uh, I'm going to do is I'll create another roof so it goes back to ground floor and uh, maybe I'll just select all these wall so these are wall I'm going to just H H so temporary uh, hide them so now you can see this in, uh, in, in uh, sorry linked DWG file we can pick them again so create another roof so I'll just pick these lines again but this time I'm going to just draw this uh, profile on this side okay and then maybe just go back a little bit and then define slope 10 degree so now finish again so look uh, don't attach I'll, I'll do it myself so go to 3d view now you will see we have two roof so let me change it to shade SD so these are two roof and then we just need to adjust all these walls to match the roof so in um, this situation I'm, I'm not going to use attach to roof because sometimes it won't work because um, let's try so attach see uh, because these walls are placed just on the edge of the roof so it might work if we um, offset this wall but I'm going to use a different method so what I'm going to do is so this is a front view which is south so I'm going to go to the south elevation because this roof is a flat roof right and what I'm going to do is I'll just draw a reference plan to match the pitch of this roof and also I'll draw another one here to match the other pit, the roof of the other pit, uh, sorry the pitch of the other roof so now we can use this reference plan to uh, to adjust our walls so I'm going to do this here I'll select these walls so these walls are on the uh, right hand side and I'll attach to this reference plan and then I'll just select all the rest and attach to this reference pair and then I'm also going to attach base of this wall to this reference pair some of them might you know some have some issue because they are in some um, interesting situation so um, just ignore them so for now and then I'll just select oops sorry select oh yeah select these walls and attach base and this reference plan and then we just need to go back to and see so yeah for them for them to work properly you probably need to split them and and then uh, try to you know uh, for, for example this one I'll just detach detach all and try to attach to this reference plan and then attach base to this reference plan so you can't have you can't have a wall sitting um, on, in, in the middle on both sides and then really don't understand what you want it to do so just okay I'll just leave it for now so and then yeah just need to uh, fix all these walls in the middle okay so let's just uh, so for this one looks like we can just simply let, let's just attach first and then go um, 
So this is a north view. Yeah, just need to go back to elevation view and then so which one? This one. Attach top to here. Attach base to this. Oops, sorry. Click on the wrong thing. So make sure you attach base. Click on the reference plane because yeah, because because the the roof is just sitting in the middle of the wall. Sometimes it won't work. Okay, so yeah. go to north again. Where's that one? Um, sorry, let's go find it. Uh, because the elevation is coming here, maybe you need to move the elevation to there, and then you will see. You will be able to see every all the walls. So see this one. Attach top to there. Attach uh, base to to. Oh hell, sorry, wrong one. <laughs> One, 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 one. So this wall, attach top to this one, attach base to this one. So it will sit in between. Uh, which one? This one? Yeah. Okay. So uh, that's it. So let's ignore these walls. <laughs> so then you can select all these walls, and then you can. So for example, you can change them to. Uh, Curtain walls. Yeah, it's a bit <coughs> slow. Let me just close the AutoCAD. Still thinking. Almost there. Yeah, so. Yeah, and also you can play with some all the patterns, all the mullions, all the grids. So I think that's it. So today's um, not. Um, not showing, um, trying to show you exactly how you know model this shape, but this uh, project, but more about messing exercise. So, how to quickly create this shape. So, we, we, um, yeah, create this shape, we use spline, use export dwg file and use the flatten command in AutoCAD to convert spline to um, to arcs to polylines and then link back into Revit to quickly place or create roof or place walls okay so that's it for today um, if you have any question please let me know I'll see you next time thank you bye